Do you want to start your coding adventure, but just don't know where to start? Well, introducing Pico 8. Lightweight, easy to use, super simple for beginners. Today, I want to talk about how it compares against other programs and what makes Pico 8 such a fantastic tool for beginners. So, let's begin. If you're unfamiliar, Pico 8 is a small game engine that allows you to code to the simplicity that a lot of other programs don't allow you to. Essentially, it has only a limited amount of code, it also can be used completely in the browser, and it only has three main functions that the program overall uses. This takes out a lot of the strain that other programs place on new coders when they're trying to start off and learn how to code. Oh, and best of all, the Education Edition is completely free in the browser. So, why would I use a small little program like this that makes things like this over a big program like this that makes things like, well, this? Well, that's actually fairly simple. If you're just starting off doing game design, if you're just starting off coding, if you're just starting out doing pixel art, if you're... I mean, just starting out in general, and you try to jump into a program like Unity or Godot, you're not going to be able to learn everything you want to right away, and that's going to be discouraging. Pico 8 gives you a good building block foundation to start with. It's simple, so you can build the roots that are needed to actually make more complex games. That's all well and good, but where do I start? Well, that's actually fairly simple too. If you go to Pico 8 Education Edition in your browser, you can actually go in and preload carts that have already been created. These act as demos and tutorials to show you the basics of the game. On top of that, there's already a built-in tutorial in the browser aspect itself on the far left navigation menu. If you want to get a little bit more complicated than that, there are a lot of tutorials both on YouTube, itch, and online resources that run you through the entirety of the basics you need to get started. There are some sources I would like to recommend though. The channel Space Cat on YouTube has a ton of crash course tutorials for Pico 8. I'll link them down in the description. However, there's also a lot of other people as well. I've seen a lot of really good stuff from Juniper Dev, also linked down in the description, and one of the individuals that I think reiterates the points in this video fairly well, Payne Robinson. I will also link their content down in the description too. If you'd like an easy place to start off with, please go check out those people. I will have a small chunk dedicated to them in the description. On top of that, however, even just looking up Pico 8 in Google Images comes up with a litany of different resources. I will go ahead and post these images here that all break down basic structural things and different functions within Pico 8 Game Engine. And there you have it, a short introduction on how to get started with Pico 8. Just to recap, Pico 8 is fantastic because it's really simple to use, easy to pick up, the resources that are available to learn it are incredible and vast, and there's a lot of user and community support behind the program. I would definitely recommend if you want to get started in game design starting with this. Jumping into Godot or Unity right off the bat can be a pain for a lot of new users, so please take the time to learn the basics. This will help you learn how to code, it'll help you how to make pixel art, it'll do a lot of things that those other programs simply can't. And once again, the community support and tutorials that surround it are fantastic. And there you have it, a short little introduction into Pico 8. All of the resources used in this video and all of the resources I've personally used looking into Pico 8 will be listed in the description. If you have any interest in coding or learning game design or making a game yourself, I would strongly recommend starting off small and Pico 8 is the best place to do that. There are hundreds of channels already offering tutorials that you can go check out and this was merely a way to show that those exist. Use this video as a stepping stone into your journey to make games. Start small, start simple before moving on to the bigger fish. 
If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing where there will be plenty more video game development and game design concepts that will be posted on this channel. Thank you.